Hello everybody and welcome back to another Wuthering Waves video. I'm Mini Chaos and there has been even more leaks with uh, update 1.2 that I want to go over again today. I just want to let you all know about it. So if you're excited then let's get right into it. The release date for Wuthering Waves update 1.2 should be August 15th. So if you weren't aware of when this update was going to drop it is going to be August 15th. So you should know how long you're gonna have to wait, but hope you stay excited. Um, again, the banners, as we know, it's gonna be Zeshi and Zhang Li Yao, and I'm I do believe, yeah. Well, unconfirmed, it's expected that Zeshi will come out before Zhang Li Yao because she was revealed first on the game's Twitter account. Per the announcement post, Zeshi is commissioned painter. Quite quiet and shy with a dedication to her craft. She's not very eloquent, but her persistence and love for painting speaks volumes. Speaks volumes. Um, so I was, I think we were wrong. Um, I thought that Zhang Liya was coming out first. I thought he would be number one to come out. Um, that's when obviously we'd all get him for free and then she would follow on after. But I guess I was wrong because it does seem like Zheshi will be coming out first. Not that I'm complaining, because, again, I, I'm i saving my pulls right now to get her. Remember, guys, I, you remember what I said in the pre in the previous video? I'm glad I lost my 50-50 for once. Yes, I'm saying it again. I'm really glad now, because, well, she's literally coming out right after Chang Li, so there's no... If, she was, uh, if I didn't lose my 50-50, there is no way I would have gotten her. I don't have enough time to save pulls for it, so... That's fantastic for me. I cannot wait till she comes out. And then obviously uh, you've got uh, Zhang Liyao who's going to come out after. There has been leaks on new buffs and uh, nerfs for both characters already. So, so let's get right into them. For Zheshi, buff to her resonance skill. Increases basic attack damage multiplier by 18% for... And it went from 25 seconds to now 27 seconds. So a couple extra seconds, not too big of a change, but it's still pretty nice, just a little bit of a buff. Um, she got a buff to her weapon passive. Uh, basic attack damage bonus, while Zheshi is off-field, will increase by from 52% to 104%. That is, that is double. That is double what it was before. That is huge. That is a massive buff to her, and I'm really glad to see that. So that is fantastic. And again, it's gone from 25, it's gonna last from 25 seconds now to 27 seconds. So this is beautiful. That is a lot of extra damage we're just getting now. And uh, it seems, and it says swap the S1 and S2 buffs. So it seems like uh, the S1 and the S2 were swapped around. So the S1 now will be, the S1 increases the crit rate by 10% for 25 seconds and by 15 resonance energy when the resonance skill is used. And then the S2 doubles resonance liberation coordinated attacks. So the, the this S2, the resonance liberation coordinated attacks, was originally the S1. But it seems like they changed it around now. So now this is the S1, which is m a much better S1. Like, uh, the thing I've noticed with uh, games like uh, like Gacha games and like S1s and like the constellations for characters, right? Um normally you want the s1 or normally the s1 is really strong right off the bat like the s1 for each character usually is really strong and then you got some like mid ones as they go up and then they get better like to like the last one is amazing or like the fifth one is amazing you know i've seen this recurring trend so i think it was a pretty smart idea they switched this round only because it'll have people pulling on her banner even more because now they'll want the S1. Because if, if it was a Resonance Liberation Coordinate Attacks, let's be honest, if you're not a whale who's got a lot of money to spend pulling for these characters, you're going to see the S1 and be like, well, the S2 is really good, but I don't have it. There's no way I'm going to have enough pulls to go for the S2 unless I get extremely lucky. So I guess I'm just not going to pull or spend any money. But if you see the S1 now, which is really good, I mean, 10% crit rate is like, who doesn't like extra crit rate? Now it will entice people to actually go for it. So that was definitely a good change by them. Uh, Zhang Liyao. 
He's got a nerf to his resonance liberation damage. He went from 1625.34% down to 1330%. First attack only, no doom post. So it seems like he got a bit of a nerf to his uh, resonance liberation. It says first attack only. I, I, if I remember correctly, I believe his li resonance liberation, uh, was like a multi-attack thing, so I guess the first attack got nerfed a lot for some reason. I'm I'm not too sure. That don't don't count my words for it. I'm not a hundred percent, but it's just what I interpreted from it. Uh, his inherent skill got changed, so now it was gained fifteen percent electro damage bonus just flat out. Now it is when using resonance skill, gain five percent electro damage bonus for eight seconds. It can have a max a maximum of four stacks, so. Sure, you are now just losing the flat out electro damage bonus, but technically you are getting more damage now because uh, it's going to be 20% um, that of the attack. Sadly, obviously, there is a cooldown, there is a, a time announced at 8 seconds, but I think it's still pretty, it's good enough. I think it's still pretty decent. Uh, a new S1, his F1 was changed now. It is now when using the resonance skill. Universal Law, it will cause 6 additional instances of damage, each hit doing 8% of Resonance Skill's original damage. Okay, so depending on how much your Resonance Skill damage is and how much it does, you will do 6 instances of damage right after your Resonance Skill, and each hit will do 8% of whatever damage your skill did. So let's say you did, I don't know, like... 100k um you did 100k with your skill um that means your you would have six instances of 8k damage just hitting just straight up hitting like that which is i mean if you're hitting 100k with the skill 8k damage six times that is huge but obviously i don't know how much his skill will do yet so we'll have to wait and see um he got a buff for s5 he went from outro skill doing 170% to 222%. That is a huge increase in that. That's 50% more damage. That's big. And then Resonance Liberation from 100% to 120%. Again, that's still fantastic. That's just extra damage we're getting. And his nerf to S6. Damage Multiplier Resonance Skill. Law of Regions from 100% to 76%. Okay. My overall opinion on these buffs and nerfs, I think, I think they're good for both characters, both the buffs and the nerfs for each. It does seem like yes, she just got buffs, like she didn't get any nerfs. Again, uh, I'm I'm not complaining. Uh, thank you so much for those buffs. Um, since I'm going for her, so it's like greatly appreciated. I'm not going to say anything. Um, it does seem like Zhang Liang got some uh, nerfs, but they're not that bad. I think they're, you know, I think it's okay. Judging by the fact that we do get him for free up, we should be getting him for free. Um, it, it would make sense not to make him overpowered, right? It's understandable because we are getting him for free. So, um, yeah, I think overall these boss and us, I'm very happy with them. And uh, I can't wait for both of these characters to finally come out. Of course, first Seshi. Thank you. I'm so glad if she comes out, if she's coming out first, which it is looking that way. I am overjoyed because finally a new character to play with, which is fantastic. And then uh, we have some newly added and optimized content coming in 1.2, I believe. Themed update for the event mode Deep Fallen Fantasia Feast of Dreams Together. Um, so it's, I guess, a new event. A new co op defense event did the Echo Chamber Dream of Electric Sheep. That's actually pretty cool, a, a co-op event that you can do. And it looks like it might involve Echoes. Um, maybe it's like a, you know, like those tower defense games where you kind of station yourself and you have to defend like enemies coming at you. Maybe it's going to be something like that, which I kind of enjoy things like that. So that, that might be pretty fun. A uh, new feature, Perilous, Mi Perilous Missions, Eternal Vigilance. That's just going to be a far out new feature. Um... All right, that's pretty cool. New system setting, multiple enemy search mode, maybe referring to multiple echo tracking mode. Ah, so you, I, I believe it's the case, you know where like you can track a certain enemy on the map? 
so that you can like because if you need a uh, material from it you need to go farm it maybe in this case you'll be able to track multiple not just like one like not just one one specific um uh, like one specific thing that you need to kill. Maybe it's like you can track multiples. You can go around getting them all. Or maybe it shows you like multiple. Um, like you select one thing that you're trying to farm. Or like one enemy. And then it will show you all of them around the map. Instead of just one time, one at a time. It also says maybe referring to multiple echo tracking mode. Maybe you'll be able to track multiple echoes around the map as well. Which should be pretty nice. New feature for PC. Some graphics cards can now enable 120 FPS display. Now that is... Now I have noticed in a lot of gacha games, 60 frames is always the cap. Um, and it's not a bad thing. 60 frames is fine. But I know there's a lot of you out there who would love to run it at higher frames. Because, you know, it, obviously it will look nicer and smoother at higher frames. So, and I know some of you have the hardware, I believe me included, I'm pretty sure my PC can do 120 frames on this game, um, would love to play on 120 frames out of 60. So that is actually a really f nice feature that they're adding. Uh, stamina storage, which I talked about in a previous video, uh, my last video, I believe, which is coming. So if you want to know about that, go and go uh, look at that video because I explained it all there. A new exploration tool, uh, auxiliary machine shooting. Um... So I'm guessing, like, in a new areas to explore, there's going to be, like, uh, you're going to get this new exploration tool, and there's going to be things you need to shoot. And it's an auxiliary machine. I'm not really quite sure what that can be, but, hey, a new exploration tool. That's pretty cool. Uh, interface optimization. Improved display of main screen buffs. I am not too sure what that one means. Um, I guess I'll have to wait for 1.2 to find out. System optimization, data bank store sorting optimization, maybe referring to echo page. Uh, data bank, yeah, that's where like when you collect echoes, um, you have like this thing where if you collect a certain amount, you can collect a reward. Um, I guess they're optimizing that as well. I'm be interested to see what that is, and then mobile performance optimization, which again, I know there's a lot of you out there who play this game on mobile, so I'm guessing this will be something that's going to be very good for you. You'll be able to optimize your game better, so hopefully it runs better for you. Away from on up, update 1.2, leaks suggest we will get Camille as a new playable character in 1.3, which I talked about previously, and another leak suggests the game will transition from 1.4 straight to 2.0, which again I also talked in a previous video. But that's it. That is all the new leaks I have for you today. Um... Honestly, these leaks just keep coming and coming, and it's just making me more and more excited for uh, 1.2 to come out and then 1.3. Like, oh, it's it's annoying to have to wait. I will give you that. It's annoying to have to wait. But hey, we all got to be patient. Hey, I know you're all suffering with me right now, so I can I can survive. But that is all I have for you in today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.